In Britain, and I think throughout the developed world, we are completely in a state of denial about climate change. Denial is a kind of interesting word because it's not, uh, not, it's not not knowing about something. It's not being in a state of ignorance. It is actually about knowing something but not being prepared to deal with it, finding arguments for not changing the way that, that we behave. And clearly, we are in that state right across the board from, uh, you know, from the highest levels of government the whole way down to our personal lifestyle. Government, government is doing very, very little about it in terms of a problem, whilst at the same time producing policy statements that say this is the biggest problem that we face. And right down individuals, you know, vast majority of people saying this is the world's greatest problem in opinion polls, and yet they are actively contributing to the problem by flying ever more, getting ever larger houses, ever larger cars, and so on. The concern with denial is that it's a way of dealing with the, the disconnection between what we know and what we do. Now, the way we'd like them to, to deal with things is by saying, right, well, this is a serious problem. I guess I better do something about it and change the way that I am. The problem with denial is that's about developing an elaborate construction for why individually or whoever they are or wherever they are, they don't have to do anything. So for individuals, there's a whole range of arguments that people adopt. It's like, uh, what's the point? You know, uh, I'm going to wait for the government to do it. Uh, it's too big. Um, uh, China, China is, uh, you know, is, is building a power station every week. What I do won't make any difference. Or that they say, well, the scientists haven't made their minds up. Or, um, or you know, right down to the kind of individual things of saying, well, you know, it's, it's all in the future, there's nothing I can do, and so on. All of these are very sensible and valid arguments, but then you go to the government, for example, and the government isn't doing anything, they're saying, well, the voters don't want this, this is very hard for us, what's the point? You go to China, then you go to China, of course, and they're saying, well, what's the point? You know, Britain, America, they're not doing anything, and so you go around and around in circles. Um, the worry is that these arguments become deeply entrenched and intergenerational. And we only have one generation to turn this thing around. And the worry is that um, we're not going to overcome this temporary state of denial, because obviously it is a temporary state. We're going to be pulled out of this at some point in time to really hold back the progress of climate change.